the treaties on rights, you will see that as soon as the wide context for attaining to the right of the self is envisioned, dozens of duties become obligatory upon the individual. The Imam makes clear that the primary duties are toward the various organs and activities of the self, since these determine man's relationship to God. The organs have rights because they share in the individual's destiny. The resurrection of the body is taken for granted, for example. Activities have rights because they shape the destiny of the soul, and other human beings have rights because they form the context within which activities occur. Human actions can only be correct if the rights of all of God's creatures are observed. This, in short, is the theme of the Treatise on Rights, a theme which is reinforced by many of the supplications of the Imam as shown in as sahifa Sajadiya. Take a look at, for example, supplication number 24 as a really prime example in showing all of this. The treatise has been transmitted in two versions, one in Al-Khisal and Al-Amali and Man La Yahdharuhu Al-Faqih, all by Sheikh Al-Saduq, who passed away in 991 AD, and the other in Tuhaf Al-Aqul by his contemporary Hussein ibn Shu'ba. Perhaps one half of the text of the two versions is identical, but Ibn Shu'ba's version adds a good deal of material that shows it to be a later recension, uh, perhaps by the Imam himself. Mm -hmm.